Hello and good evening. Texas right now is in the center of an international drama as a Mexican national set to die by lethal injection here tomorrow night. Yeah, but President Obama now trying to intervene. He's asked the U.S. Supreme Court to halt the execution of Humberto Leal. Sean Rabb, first night on Fox 4 with the story. Sean. Humberto Leal moved to Texas with his family when he was only 18 months old, but to this day remains a Mexican citizen. The president wants the Supreme Court to step in because Humberto Leal's rights under international law violated when he was arrested and convicted for the rape and murder of a 16-year-old girl in San Antonio back in 1994. This is the San Antonio killing field where Audrea Terry lost her life in 1994, raped and murdered by this man, Humberto Leal, a Mexican national. It's been difficult for myself and her um, family members. But a growing chorus, including the federal government, calling for his execution to be stopped because Leal was not allowed to seek legal advice from the Mexican consulate at the time of his arrest. This is a case that I think should resonate for everybody. Dallas uh, attorney uh, Bill Matea. It's advice that's provided for under the Vienna Convention. It's part of a treaty that the Senate confirmed back in 1969. Matea says it's international law and should be honored. And you know, that's why it should matter is because we want the same benefits afforded to us when we travel abroad. President Obama asking the U.S. Supreme Court to step in and halt the execution, arguing it would violate treaty obligations and could have repercussions for foreign policy. While unusual for a president to try and stop states from carrying out the death penalty. And there's a Supreme Court decision out there, 6-3. Former President Bush tried to stop the Texas execution of Jose Medellin in 2008. Again, because he was denied his rights under international law. Then the Supreme Court said no because... Congress hasn't ratified the treaty and hasn't implemented the Vienna Convention to make it binding on the states. And Audrey's mother says the court should say no again doesn't give anyone the right to come to this country and rape, torture, and murder anyone, in this case my daughter. Many current and former diplomats have joined in asking the execution be halted until Congress can act. Not raising any questions about whether Leal is guilty, but rather about the process. A process, they argue, Americans afoul of the law in another country would want to work for them as well. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 news.